Assalamu alaikum everyone in AS economics today we are going to discuss two mcqs from past papers these mcqs are taken from the topics opportunity cost and production possibility frontier the first mcq is from winter 2005 paper 1 question 4 let's read the question the workers in a factory currently earn dollar 240 for a 40 hour week the management offers them a choice between either a 10% wage increase or an increase in the weekly wage to dollar 260 along with the reduction from 40 to 39 hours disregarding the value of leisure time what is the opportunity cost to each worker of opting for the 39 hour week here two options are given to each worker option number 1 10% increase in wage so let's calculate 10% increase in wage 110 over 100 into 240 this is equal to dollar 264 option number 2 is dollar 260 weekly wage if each worker will opt for the 39 hour week that is option number 2 so this will become the decision now let's calculate how much sacrifice each worker has to make by opting dollar 260 each worker will sacrifice dollar 4 which is the difference between dollar 264 and dollar 260 so dollar 4 will be the opportunity cost let's read the options the first option is dollar 4 so this is the correct answer next this mcq is from summer 2010 paper 11 question 2 and the topic is production possibility curve let's read the question the diagrams show the change in a country's production possibility curve between year 1 and year 2 this diagram is given for year 1 and this is given for year 2 what can be deduced from the diagrams a future growth prospects have been harmed you can see here that consumer goods in year 1 are 100 so here 150 so more consumer goods are produced capital goods from 50 to 80 more capital capital goods are produced so production possibility curve is shifting outwards so future growth prospects have not been harmed a cannot be the answer b the level of unemployment has fallen for both the production possibility curves there is full employment of resources so level of unemployment has not fallen b cannot be the answer c the opportunity cost of consumer goods has risen let's calculate opportunity cost in year 1 100 consumer goods are equal to 50 capital goods so one consumer good is equal to 50 divided by 100 capital goods which is equal to 0.5 capital goods in year 2 150 consumer goods are equal to 80 capital goods so one consumer good will be equal to 80 divided by 150 capital goods this will be equal to 0.53 capital goods so opportunity cost of making one consumer good is increased from 0.5 capital goods to 0.53 capital goods c is the correct answer d the proportionate growth or percentage growth in product is greater in consumer goods if we calculate the percentage growth in consumer goods from 100 to 150 this will be 50% growth and in capital goods 50 to 80 this will be 60% so the growth in uh, the production of capital goods is more but here it is written that percentage growth in production is greater in consumer goods hence this is not the correct option so c is the correct answer by the way how have we calculated this percentage change 80 minus 50 divided by 50 into 100% so this is 60% c is the correct answer Thank you very much for watching this video.